A shooting erupts in the middle of the day in Portland's Elliott neighborhood, and we have learned that victim has died. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haberly. We sent Joelle Jones out to find out more about what happened in that neighborhood there today, and she joins us now live. And Joelle, uh, I understand you spoke with uh, some of the neighbors there. What are they saying about what happened? That's right, Wayne. We spoke to a neighbor who tells us he not only heard the shooting, but says he called police as he watched the killer get away. What was running through my head was just like, try not to get shot, you know, try not to let them see that I am watching them. So I was just kind of peering through the window and ducking down and trying to stay out of sight. A deadly shooting in broad daylight. Gunner Peterson tells us one minute he was relaxing at his home in the Elliott neighborhood, but says in the next a shot rang out and he was left watching a killer run free. I was just on the couch and I heard a pop and I stood up and turned around and I saw the uh, deceased fall to the ground and the shooter get away. Yeah. With police on the line, Peterson says he watched as the shooter got in a car and took off towards Williams. When officers arrived at the scene near Northeast First Avenue and Hancock Street, they say the victim was found already dead. According to our records, this killing marks the eighth homicide in Portland this year and the sixth fatal shooting, something Peterson says doesn't normally happen in this neighborhood. We've had a big house this camp here, and so there's been other things we've had to deal with. But as far as like deadly shootings, that doesn't really happen around here. And while eight homicides can sound like a lot, this year's numbers are less than half of the 21 homicides reported by PPB between January and February of last year. But with the killer still at large and police saying right now no suspects have been identified and no arrests made, we asked Peterson if he feels enough is being done to help keep communities safe. Obviously, like the police are hard at work and there's only so much you can do, but um, no, I don't think that there's enough being done. I think there could be more done always. Yeah. Now, police have not yet identified the victim, but with this being an ongoing investigation, they are asking anyone with information to contact detectives. And of course, we have their information listed for you at coin.com. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News.